What's up everybody? Hey, we're here at the Dallas Card Show. Uh, we just set up, uh, we've been here for a little while. Uh, probably won't walk around a little bit too much today, do it in the morning. Just let you guys, I'll show you guys our setup right now and uh, we'll try to get as much footage as we can this weekend. But we are here and we're set up. All right, so here's the booth. We don't have too much when it comes to big cards, but you know, we got some okay stuff. You know, we got the names people want, and we got some cool Marvel stuff. Some cheaper slabs here. Some STC stuff, of course, some value boxes, comics. So this is a part of our, part of us that you haven't seen yet. You know, we do do sports stuff, sports memorabilia. All kinds of memorabilia. We actually just picked them in. So we're doing pops. Not just doing cards. We brought some toys with us. You know, we've got a bunch of signed pops. Brought our statues. We already sold one. Signed photos. Some toys for the kids. There's a lot of kids in here too. Not just adults. You know, and kids love toys. So... We've already been wheeling and dealing. Let me show you guys a couple of things we picked up already. Got them hiding over here. So we picked up an Ian McDermott signed photo from the Star Wars Celebration. A Jeremy Bullock signed photo from the Star Wars Celebration. Ashley X, that's my favorite. That might stay with me. Soka from the Star Wars Celebration. Emily Swallow, the armorer. Picked up some cool burrows. I mean, Mahomes, what am I saying? Picked up this prism silver, look at that. Beautiful card. Picked up some more, some more smalls. Mahomes Panini rookie. Mahomes Contender Rookie of the Year. Jordan Scoring Kings. And two score Mahomes rookies. And a few. I'm not a big uh, CSG fan, but these were nice. And Did a nice trade on him. Traded my Walter Payton rookie for everything we were seeing here. I mean, obviously it's like some spec. Trade a goat, trade a goat for some spec, but it's all good. I'm picking up basketball right now. I'm getting ready for the basketball season. It's nothing big, nothing big, but names people want in good grades, so. How to do it and make the play and that's about it guys all right so i will get back to you guys a little later see you tomorrow what's going on guys day two here at dallas card show uh just wanted to show you what we picked up today we picked up uh we went through a value box of basketball from louisville sports cards and we picked out a bunch of jordans low end jordans uh some spurs stuff and we'll just get into it and show you, you know, it's just super quick. Just go through them. You know, can't go wrong with all these like two and three dollar Jordans. Especially when you're buying in bulk and you're getting a good deal. Stadium club there, it's a pretty cool one. Uh, Total D, it's got some bad corners, but still cool. Above the rim. Scoring leaders, Fleer, Upper Deck, I mean, Hoops, Sky, Skybox, Collector's Choice, and it's all a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, last couple here. And 
Some of the spare stuff. That is really cool. Game used, game used uh, Parker. Some Duncan Robinson, clear metal. That was cool. Two stuff there. And, uh, just some random stuff. Z Force Shack. Some Jet Master Kobe's. A Z Force Kobe. Uh, Jam Master Kobe, Allen Iverson, uh, these were championships, I think, uh, that's what they call them, medals. Another clear medal, Iverson. Uh, Fresh Foundations, I was an insert, I was a hard insert. Uh, some Kobe medals, Kobe Pacific rookie, Garnett medal rookie, and a Jordan medal championship. Uh, we picked up a couple of big, couple of bigger cards. Lamar Jackson out of ten, tricolor. I think it's uh, yeah, one out of one ninety nine. But PSA ten, sorry, not out of ten. PSA ten. Great card there. Picked this one up for the PC. I don't have an actual Jordan rookie, so that's awesome. That's that's game used. Oh, okay, practice used. It says. Uh, guaranteed to be have been certified using having been used in a college practice game. So he was already sweating it. You know, it's good enough for me. Another pickup, another Ryan baseball, American League baseball. So uh, probably when he was on the Astros. And we did another trade. We got another Anthony Daniels. Star Wars. So, those are day two pickups, and we will be back with day three. So, guys, you go back again to the Dallas Card Show Saturday morning. People starting to uh, pile in. Wanted to show you guys some cool vintage stuff real quick. Vintage baseball. Look at all these. Uh, Check this out, guys. A full set, 2014 Kaboom, 50, 50 cards, all graded. These are amazing. These are, these are when they have the cool art. I like this art way better than the new stuff. So we've got all 50 and all slabs. Looks like they range from 8 to 10. Now there's one 7. And pretty much all of them. Look like there's only one seven in there. Unless it's eight or better. Oh, there's two sevens. So did you buy this? Uh, did you buy this complete or did you uh, did you make it? I Put bought this it from a buddy who uh, made it. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It must have taken how, how long did you know how long it took him? Three years. Three years. Yeah. Wow. That is great. I love this set though. This is the to yeah. me this is the better art. And yeah. what they're using the actual pictures They're all target exclusives all target yeah, exclusives so it's wow. only in retail um, yeah wow, it's awesome. really tough no hobby boxes you can get these that's crazy well at least you used to get good stuff in retail right <laughs> yeah. what's up everybody all right day three dallas card show uh saturday just want to show you some pickups some of the stuff we picked up didn't make it we sold it uh, but let me show you what we got. All right, Jamar Chase or uh, Purple Velocity. 
uh, Burrow Object Base, Mahomes Rookie Dual Patch with uh, Kareem Hunt. That's pretty sick. Not numbered, but you know, badass. Illusions, Micah Parsons, Auto, uh, Luca, Nine, Prism, Optic Hollow Zion 9, BGS 9, Optic Purple BGS 9, and we picked up a box of the new Star Wars uh, Top Scrum Mandalorian. We're gonna break this tonight and we will post a video uh, maybe tomorrow. All right, guys, we will get back to you with more footage from Sunday. What's going on, everybody? We are back. I am back from uh, the trade night tonight at the Dallas Card Show over at the Marriott. Uh, again, we're not staying there. We're staying down the street because it's a little cheaper. But we went over there. Trade night was crazy. Um, didn't have time to get any footage. Sorry. It was just Fast and Furious. I mean, there was so many people. Super packed, like crazy. Everybody had cool stuff. So let me show you what deals we made. So Kobe, rookie, just the base tops. Um, looks pretty good, a little off-centered, but it looks really good. So I'm hoping if I grade it out, it will get a nine. Double the price on it. Um, I traded a an Optic Burrow base and a Herbert Burrow base for that. I cannot for the life of me remember what I gave up for this. But this looks really nice too. Um, obviously these 90s inserts are tough to grade. Um, but I think even in an eight, it would still be worth a hundred bucks. So I'm still gonna send it in. We'll see what happens. All right, this was the biggest trade I did. Um, I had a CD Lamb Kaboom PSA 9. That card is a little down right now. It's only worth about, I think like 450, 500 at tops. So I traded those that card and a hundred bucks for these two. I think I did really well. Um, Specs, obviously, because Scarlet Spider hopefully will come out in the Spider-Verse movie. These are both numbered to 99. 99 there. And uh, where's the other one on here? This one's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. So, both cards are amazing. Obviously, this one has the raw review in a 9. That's what brought it up to that. I think eights are like 250 maybe. Um, so yeah, that's beautiful. It's my first PMG. I don't think this is considered a PMG. I'm not sure. But uh, Anyway, still amazing. 2017. I love them. I will get them slabbed for sure. Um, last trade I did, which took, man, took, took forever, but finally got it done. Um, so I had two decks, two deck optics. Uh, one was a 2007, both of them were 2017. One was a green optic out of five, and it was a PSA 10, pop one. Um, I was valuing that card around six or seven, but I was kind of, you know, I knew that I was high, or I thought I was high. I wasn't really sure. Gold vinyl, PSA 10, one to one, same card. Did 1,200, but obviously that's one of one. It's gold, everybody likes gold. Um, so anyway, that card, and then I had a, 2017-1981 Tribute uh, Silver Hollow deck, also PSA 10, low pop, uh, I think pop 7. So anyway, I gave those two cards for all these. Um, this McCaffrey, obviously, hopefully he stays healthy this year. 
Um, these are called the armored uh, chainmail armor. Uh, it's rumored that these are they're not numbered, but it's rumored that there's like less than 50 of these. And uh, so we're gonna take a close look at that. We might get that slabbed, or we might try to sell it raw. These are already these are already done. Um, Tiger Woods, something different. Golf, you know. Can't go wrong with Tiger. He's the goat, or you know, our generation goat. All nine point fives. Um, you know, that's true gem nine point five all all across the board. So is this one nine point five all across the board? Another really cool. This one's even better. Two nine point fives, two tens. I may have to cross these over to PSA. And the last one. Again, all 9.5s and a 10. So, these would definitely be candidates to switch over and hopefully you would, you would hope you'd get 10s out of them. Obviously not guaranteed, but I mean, BGS is pretty, pretty tough to get those kind of grades, especially on all of them. You know, to get true gems. So, these five cards for the two decks. These were, you know, they're, they're relatively inexpensive for some reason. Um, 80 to 90, and then this one was kind of... He valued it at 100, even though there really wasn't any comps and there wasn't anything to go by. Um, I don't know. I just did the deal. I wasn't into those decks for much, and I figured... You know, those might move tomorrow. So that's what we got, guys. And we will see, try to get you some footage tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. This might be the end of the video. Not sure. But uh, if not, if I don't, if I don't continue the video, then hit that like button. Give us a subscribe. And hit those bell notifications. And if not, then this was a fake, a, a false ending, and you know, we will continue the video. Hey guys, what's up? Back again. All right, so we are home from Dallas. I didn't get a chance to do a little short video from day four, so I wanted to show you the pickups from day four, Sunday. Um, and after I'm done with this, I'll give you a little recap, what I thought, you know, how we did, you know, my overall impression of the show. Uh, but let's get into these final final day pickups. First, I'm gonna show you uh, some smalls, just some cheap stuff, but for the personal collection stuff that I like, uh, which is this stack right here. Got these off the gentleman they call the Great Curator. I'm sure you know, if you're a YouTube fan, I'm sure you know who he is, if you're a card fan. Uh, he was really cool. Out of all the influencers that I met this weekend, um, I got to meet Roth cards really quick, like super quick, just like, hey, what's up, like your stuff. Um, I spoke to Ryan for a little bit from Card Collector 2. Um, he was very, you know, he was, how would you say, cordial. Um, you know, he was, he was nice. He wasn't overly nice. Um, you know, I know a lot of people go up to him and talk to him. He's famous in the YouTube world, in the card world. So, um, but I mean, he, like, again, he was not, I don't have anything bad to say about him. Uh, he was a cool guy. You know, we spoke for a little bit. Somebody walked up, walk, walked up to him in the middle, middle of our little conversation and he uh, turned his attention to them, which is fine. You know, again, I know a lot of people want to talk to him, but, uh, with that being said, the the great curator was the best one. Like he was the coolest one. But I mean, he, again, he was like at his table. He was at his booth. He was selling. So of course he was, you know, talking to me. 
Uh, but he was genuinely, genuinely nice. Uh, genuinely nice guy. Hooked me up with some free stuff. I don't have that on me, but um, I'm going to show you what what it was that I bought from him. So this is from the new Spider-Man metal. Uh, Miles, huge Miles fan. I'll probably give this to my daughter or my son, one of the two. Uh, it is gold, but it's not worth much, but still super cool. I love it. Uh, I'm a big <clears throat> Clone Wars and uh, Rebels fan, so he had some of this stuff. So I had to pick these up. Uh, Hera, Fennec, in the cartoon. I love, I love, you know, I prefer this version of Fennec Shan than live action Fennec Shan. Not that I don't like the actress, just I, I prefer the animated series. Grand Inquisitor, uh, Klingon Voss. <clears throat> Jedi Knight, Kanan Jarrus, Jedi Knight, my favorite of all time, Ahsoka, Tano, another Hera, Hera is one of my favorite characters also, Young Ahsoka, Refractor, super chill, super cool, Bo-Katan, animation, animated, and the man, Captain Rex, green out of 99. This card is only worth about 10 bucks, but to me, it is freaking awesome. May or may not get a slab, just to have it in the personal collection in a slab. Uh, maybe those Ahsokas also. But yeah, so thanks to the great curator. He also hooked me up with a couple cards over here that I'm going to show you. Um, again, genuinely nice guy. Hooked you up with some freebies. You know, we, we talked about our love of uh, Star Wars and Marvel and... Uh, you know, we made some good deals. Uh, he let me have this for about a hundred, hundred bucks even. That's a little bit over like recent comps, but I still think it's worth it. Um, there were a couple comps at a hundred, and then there was like a few more that were more like in the seventy-five to eighty-five range. But hey. It's in person. I don't have to wait for it to get here. I'm not going to pay shipping. I'm not going to pay taxes. You know, so hundred bucks, good deal. Again, thanks a lot from the great curator. This is one that he got, that I got from him that I really really love. Uh, Spider Verse. I'm a huge Spider Verse fan. Um, I got to admit that I didn't really get into the comics at first, but then when I saw the animated movie with Miles and Gwen and Peter and Peter Par Peter Parker, <laughs> you know, Spider-Man Noir, uh, Penny Parker. I mean, that that just piqued my interest. I mean, the movie was very well done. Can't wait for part two. <clears throat> Super upset that they moved it from October now to next year. I think they say in June. But, I mean, if they need to get it right, they need to get it right. Just can't wait. You know, so this one's awesome. You got Cosmic Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099, Peter Parker, Gwen, Spider-Gwen. Um, I think this is Spider-Man Britannia down here, the UK Spider-Man. And I believe that is Spider-Girl. <clears throat> and I'm not sure, this is another female spider, but I can't tell who it is. It's not Silk, um, but yeah. Beautiful card, amazing card. According to him, well, I mean, the, the, he gave me the history on it, and supposedly you had to collect a lot of the digital cards, uh, bef and then once you got to like a certain level or certain certain amount, then you would get this milestone card, this physical card. You had to send in for it, and that's the only way you could get it. Doesn't come in a pack, doesn't come in anything. That's the only way you could get this card. So that was awesome. That's again. Um, he wanted 250. I gave him 200. <clears throat> you know, I asked him. He said there were no comps. I mean, I believed him. Uh, there really aren't any comps. There was a couple for sale. There's one guy who wants 250, and there's one one guy who wants 125. The one for 125 is definitely damaged. I, like there was chipping along the edges and stuff. So I feel I paid a uh, paid a fair price. Uh, Again, this is definitely staying in the personal collection, so I don't really care. 
if I did pay a little bit over comp or whatever, like what other people are asking, it's awesome. And then I, and I got it from a great person. So happy to get that. <clears throat> this was the very last purchase of the day or no, second to the last purchase of the day. I really thought that Dak would come out strong, even though they had, you know, less receivers, even though Amari was gone, Wilson was gone, you know, Gallup still hurt. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, you know, I really felt like he was going to come out and still do good. I thought that they'd have a good shot with the running game. And really, they didn't give the running game enough of a shot, in my opinion. Um, they, you know, Zeke was averaging five yards a carry. As I'm pretty sure Pollard was too. But they're enamored with Dak and the receivers. And, the, you know, I don't know. I think it's time to switch out Kellen Moore. But anyway, thought this was a good play. Paid 175 comps for around 250 300 so it was a great deal to begin with. And I thought, okay, he comes out strong. Throws a couple of touchdowns. Cowboys win or keep it close. And I could flip this card quick. Well, that backfired on me with him getting injured. So now this might stay uh, with me till next year. <laughs> or maybe the end of the season if he, has, if he comes back strong. We'll see. But uh, so anyway, that was that. My final, final purchase of the day are these three PMGs. They're all bronze, so they're $199. Um, the reds are $299. So these are not as expensive. I met the gentleman named Kim Card Dashian. No, Kim Card Ashian. There you go. So it's Kim underscore card underscore Ashian. But you can find him on eBay. He's got an amazing collection. The dude is like stacked with like pop ones and one of ones. And I mean, just talking, you're just talking like crazy, crazy cards. If you check out his eBay page, you're going to be, you're going to trip out. But uh, anyway, he had these, he had more. I definitely wanted more, but I couldn't, you know, I had spent more than I should have. And, uh, the only reason I even made these last final purchases was because we had such a good Sunday uh, that it let me invest a little bit, put a little bit more money back into the business and not just come back and pay a bunch of bills, which is what we're doing with the rest of the money. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's a cost of running business. Uh, but anyway, so he gave me an amazing deal on these, 380 for the three. Um, he pretty much just gave them to me. We looked up what he paid for them on eBay. I, I think I paid him 15, 20 bucks more than what he paid for these three. Uh, but he's a super cool guy. We did a trade the night before and that opened up the relationship. So I really think that when I see him again in November, we'll, you know, we'll probably make more deals. Hopefully I'll have stuff he wants. He's, he's really into unique cards and things you don't see every day. So I don't know if I'll have any of that um, like I did this time, but, um, you know, I'm sure we'll be able to do something. If not, I'll just buy some stuff off of him, uh, especially if he gives me good deals like he did this time. So went with no PMGs, came back with, uh, what, these three, the Scarlet Spider, and the Black Widow. The Scarlet Spider you'll see earlier in the, uh, from Trade Night video, so you'll see that here. Uh, so yeah, so that was everything that I got on the last day. And all right guys, so that's it from Dallas. <clears throat> Sorry about that. We are, we had a great time, great time. Uh, trade Night was awesome, Saturday night. I'm sure, I know they do some stuff Friday night. Um, just like on the lobby, but Saturday is when they open up the Starlight Room. And they've got all a big hallway there. And, like, there's people in the lobby. There's people. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> if you've never been to Dallas, uh, I suggest you go. This is probably our, I think, our fourth time going. Uh, it's kind of hard for us to make every show because we do more Comic-Cons than we do card shows. So... A lot of times during the summer months, uh, 
we can't make it because we're at a, we're at a con and um so we miss those it sucks that we do but this was our first one uh i think i know we did january and i believe we did march can't remember but we missed we've missed the last like two or three so it was great to be back we made some awesome deals that you've seen in the video you know we sold we we're trading, buying, selling. That, I mean, that's what I love more about card shows than I, than, than uh, Comic Cons. Because Comic Cons, eh, every once in a while you'll get somebody to walk up with some pops they want to sell or trade, or with some comics they want to sell or trade. But uh, most of the time, it's just sell, sell, sell. Try to buy stuff from the other vendors, but the other vendors are kind of like, nope. <laughs> like unless it's unless it's like one of your buddies, you really don't get any deals. Um, at a comic con but uh the card shows man it's so much fun it's so much trading so much uh buy, you know selling buying something and then selling it the same day or the next day um you know picking things up like i say if you make money in the last minute you're running around the show trying to get trying to make deals and pick stuff up and uh so yeah it's just a great experience uh, a lot of fun it's very tiring though four days is oh man and then we we drove um uh, on wednesday we left wednesday night and we stayed in san antonio then we got uh we made it to dallas uh you know after getting up eating breakfast and everything we made it to dallas at around uh 12 30 i think 12 30 one o'clock <clears throat> on thursday uh we got to start setting up around two and yeah have two from two i mean it was an all day because we got up you know we got up around six left around seven thirty, um and we didn't get to the hotel till like nine thirty that night <laughs> so it was like 14 hour day crazy day uh friday was a little bit easier but still it was a long day because friday was um i think nine to eight yeah um so, and then Saturday, not so crazy, uh, nine to six, and then uh, Sunday, uh, nine to four. But Sunday, we didn't even get there till like around 10, 30 or 11. Uh, we were just so tired from the trade night before. You know, we stayed at, we stayed there till about 12.30 at night. Uh, by the time we got back to the hotel, it was uh, like one o'clock. And then, um, you know, by the time we kind of, settled down like I did a quick video showing you the tr showing you the pickups and then um by the time we finally called it at night it was like 1 30 so so Sunday morning we were not looking to get there right at nine o'clock uh I don't know if we lost out on any deals or whatever but it didn't uh didn't matter we did good we did great on Sunday um as a matter of fact I sold my whole table well of cards not because we took toys to we took autograph memorabilia, we took mini helmets, signed photos, um, you know, so we took it a, a variety of items. Um, but, but there was a guy that we had done a deal with earlier in the week. Uh, he bought all of our value boxes. Uh, he came up at the end and was like, okay, so what, you know, what do you have left and what do you want for everything? We went back and forth. Um, it wasn't too much stuff. Like my sticker price was around three grand, 30, 32, I guess. But I, I really think that uh, like if you went comp to comp on every single card, you know, it probably would have been around 26, I guess, 25. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how much more I add, you know. But, you know, you always add like 10 bucks here, 15 bucks there to a card. Gives you a little bit of room to negotiate, you know. Especially and then somebody can say like, Oh, hey, the last comp was, you know, say you're asking 100 and, hey, the last comp was 85. Can you do 85? And you'd be like, oh, yeah, sure, you know, because you knew you, knew you priced it up high anyway. So <clears throat> with that being said, you know, we settled at 1600 He took it all. Um, I had a couple slabs left over and a few things that I had picked up from the show that I didn't include and, like, a little bit of cheap stuff, like all the cheap Jordans and stuff that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, I didn't include that stuff, but, uh, so, hey, it allowed me to make those final purchases on the last day, because uh, the way I see it is even though you sold and then you went and bought, 
it's kind of like you traded, you know. Um, like the deal I did on the first day, I got all those uh, CSG low-end basketball rookies, um, you know, slabs. Uh, the guy had around 260 value. He said 200. I had a Walter Payton rookie. I sold it for 200, took that 200, bought those cards. So it was basically like I traded the Walter Payton for the cards. You know what I'm saying? So if you think about it that way, um, it's not really like you're spending money uh, because you're just recycling what you, you know, what you sold by something else. Um, obviously, <clears throat> doing this for a living, uh, it's not a side hustle. I can't re reinvest 100%. I mean, I would love to. And even sometimes I do uh, smaller shows. Like sometimes we do small shows. Uh, you know, you're talking like a local little toy show, card show, or you're not going to make thousands. You're going to make hundreds. You know, you're going to make 400 bucks, 500 bucks. Um, a lot of times I don't need that money, so I'll just spend it on the show. So I basically just, like I said, I in my head, I just traded. You know, whatever stuff I sold, it got replaced with what I bought. And then we can go on to a big show and try to make 10 grand, 20 grand, whatever. And uh, <clears throat> so that's the way I think about it. But anyway, so long, so I'm gonna shut it off. I know this video is probably kind of long. Uh, sorry about that. But um, again, great show, had a blast. I'm definitely looking forward to it in November and uh, made some new friends and hopefully keep those relationships going. And uh, it'll help us grow all the business, help us grow popular our population here on the, uh, as far as our subscribers and stuff like that. Once people get to know us, and it looks like we're on our way. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank everybody that came to the table. Anybody we made deals with, uh, leave a comment below if you saw us there. And we'll see you on the next one.